welcome to my channel and welcome to the first Christmas decorate with me for 2024. You guys, I cannot believe it's been an entire year since we first started decorating for Christmas last year in 2023. I was like two months postpartum. I had just had my third baby and now my third baby is over a year old. Like I can't believe it. It's crazy. I have three kids four and under like wild. So anyway, I digress. I'm so happy to be back decorating for Christmas. I have so much planned for you guys this holiday season. We've got tons of Christmas decorating videos, elf on the shelf ideas, what I got my kids for Christmas and so much more. So if you guys like any of those things, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button down below turn it from red to gray and if you like today's video I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel out a lot and without further ado let's get into decorating for Christmas 2024 here is all of my decor for my kitchen that I'm planning to use doesn't mean I won't add more I'm just not sure yet but I just want to go through and show you where I got everything over here these are hand towels the man Karen got me for my bridal shower years ago this is from TJ Maxx also from Ann Karen then I got these little Mickeys here. These were from Walmart last year. Then all my little trees over here. These were all from the Target dollar spot. I have one larger one that was $5. The smaller ones were $3. And then these guys here were $5. This little Believe candle holder. This was from Aunt Karen for my bridal shower. This Mickey here was from Costco a few years ago. This Santa Mickey mug was from TJ Maxx. And the reason he has tape on him is because I broke my Mickey pumpkin last year when I was putting my Halloween decor away. I didn't tape the pumpkin on. I only taped it like one side. So now I tape Mickey's hat, you know, I, he gets four pieces of tape, even though I wrap him in bubble wrap or honeycomb wrap. I, I just, you know, extra cautious because my Mickey pumpkin was wrapped, but I still dropped the lid and it broke and I was very upset about it. Then over here I have this spoon rest. I got this from Macy's last year. These are some window clings. These are from Dollar Tree. I've had these forever. This is from Shop Disney. This wreath over here. The dry mat is from Dollar Tree. These mugs over here are from Shop Disney from oh boy years ago you guys. <laughs> then these little trees here are from Dollar Tree. That is from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. This was from Hobby Lobby last year. Then these little candle holders are from Aunt Karen. If you guys know me, you know I like to decorate with Disney and Dachshunds. So these, I think, I can't remember these are from my bridal shower or she just gave them to me another time. Then over here, this we got in Walt Disney World, oh, two years ago, three years ago, whenever the 50th anniversary was. And my plan is to frame it. I don't know if I'm going to frame it before this decorate with me. Probably not, but uh, that is the plan. So we'll see where this will go in the meantime. Then this back here is another Aunt Karen gift. This was, again, for my bridal shower. So that is my little uh, Christmas countdown clock. Then these trees over here are both from Walmart. This Disney Christmas house is from Costco a couple of years ago. This is a Thomas Kincaid. I think we got it from Costco. Might have gotten it online. I'm not sure because we've gotten a few of them from Costco. I just can't remember which ones were from Costco. Then this was from Walt Disney World. Last year we got this. I showed this in my Christmas haul for this year. So it's Mickey on a train. It's like a little gingerbread train. So I was really excited I got that last year. Then I have this Merry Christmas sign. This was from TJ Maxx, I think two years ago. Then I got this sign on sale for like 90% off at Big Lots last year. So it was $7.99 before the 90% off. So that is a steal of a deal right there. Then this advent calendar is from Shop Disney and it has the little gingerbread Mickey. He's so cute. And then I have this Santa soap and that is from Dollar Tree from, I don't know, five years ago maybe. So now let's get to decorating this kitchen. the question, KJ, why are you decorating for Christmas in October? Well, first of all, I love Christmas. It is my absolute favorite time of year. And second, it takes me a really long time to decorate because I go room by room and change my decor over from Halloween to Christmas. I also work a nine to five corporate job. I have three kids who are four and under, so I have to rely on nights and weekends to get it all set up. I like everything done by November 1st so that I have two 
full months of Christmas ambiance. So I need to start early in order to achieve that goal. You guys might notice that there is a lot of Disney decor throughout our home. If you didn't know, John and I are both longtime Disney cast members. John just celebrated 20 years with the company and I just hit my 10 year anniversary. But even if we didn't work for Disney, there would still be lots of Disney sprinkled throughout our home. And speaking of Disney, today's video is actually in collaboration with one of my Disney besties, Ashley from Spoonful of Cleaning. This is the third year in a row Ashley and I have done a Christmas collab and I have so enjoyed getting to know her over the years. She is a mom of two little girls who are the same ages as my two older kids. In addition to her Christmas decorating series, she shares tons of cleaning motivation, organizing, decluttering, and some mom life in between. She also loves Disney, so you may see some Disney pop up in her decor. If you are looking for more Christmas decorating ideas, definitely check her out once you are done here. I will link her video in the description box down below. And be sure to let her know down in the comments that I sent you. And if you're here from Ashley's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I am so happy to have you. Here on my channel, I share a ton of shop with me videos especially when it comes to the holidays i also do a lot of holiday decorating throughout the year not just christmas i mean i go all out for christmas but i do do it for other holidays throughout the year and you'll also see some videos about my kids where i share with you what i got them for different holidays of course i'll share with you what i got them for christmas but i also like to share what i got them for valentine's day for their little halloween boo baskets for easter all that kind of thing so love to share a little bit of mom life therein as well so if you like any of those things i would love to have you hit that red subscribe button down below. Join our little internet fam. I would be so happy to have you. Guys, this candle smells so good. You definitely should go check out Koa and Kind. They're really good friends of mine, Dave, Karen, and Allie. They are the loveliest people on earth. They are my YouTube friends turned real life friends. We met in person for the first time a couple years ago in Walt Disney World, and I absolutely love supporting them. So go check them out. I will link them down below. Not sponsored, I just love them, and their candles and clothes are amazing. So make sure you check them out. I love to decorate. When I was a kid, I remember my mom going all out for Christmas and I have the best memories from my childhood. I don't remember the gifts I got, sorry mom and dad, but I do remember how magical my mom made our home feel when we were kids. I love that our whole house was decorated. I remember even our bathroom was decked out for the holidays. My mom put up a shower curtain, all of the towels were Christmas themed, we had the Santa soap dispenser, and I even have a memory of a fuzzy Santa toilet seat cover, which definitely shows my age because that was absolutely absolutely a 90s thing, but I digress. <laughs> I love that I can look back fondly on my childhood memories around the holidays, and I want to do the same for my kids. I want to be extra, and I want to decorate the house from top to bottom and create all the magical vibes for my kids. So maybe one day they will grow up and they won't remember what toys they got for Christmas, but they will remember how magical their mom made their Christmas feel. Here are all of my budget-friendly ornaments. 
So starting over here, I have Peace and Believe from Dollar Tree, my little owl from Dollar Tree. I had searched for this for quite some time and then my friend Jackie found it for me. So thank you, Jackie. Always think of you when I look at that. Got this little dog here from my mom. Not sure where it's from. Then I have these reindeer. These were from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. These big bulbs here were from Dollar Tree. This was from Walmart. These trees were from Hobby Lobby, but they were like 75% off or something like that. I got them after Christmas a couple years ago. Then I got these little trucks. They were from Walmart. These two Believe signs, those were from my Aunt Jean. Not sure where she got them from, but Believe is my favorite word ever. If you didn't know, I have this tattoo. <laughs> I switched my watch. I now wear it on my right hand. I used to wear it on my left hand, so people didn't really know I had one there. But yes, I that is my favorite word. Uh, moving on, so now I have Joy and Noel. Those were from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. Fa la 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 and Believe, those are from Walmart. Those are from Michaels. I believe I got them 90% off. They were either $20, I think they were $20. So maybe they were like two bucks or something like that. I got two of them there. This ribbon, which is my tree topper, that is from the Dollar Tree. I think when the Dollar Tree was still a dollar. This blanket, I wasn't sure if it was from Five Below or Walmart, but I'm pretty sure it was from Walmart for like under $10, maybe five to $8, something like that. All of these little sleds here, these were from the Dollar Tree. I don't even know how many years ago, several years back now. This bird pick over here, this was from the Dollar Tree. This piece, not a peace sign, but the piece uh, ornament that was from Dollar Tree. This red truck is from Dollar Tree years ago. And then I have these ribbon here. These were from Walmart, I believe, just one roll and I cut them up. And then these ornaments were from Walmart a few years ago. And there are 18 in a pack for $4.98. These are all of my budget-friendly ornaments. So let's get started on decorating this tree. I like to mix up my ornaments. Instead of using all of the same size, I use different sizes, I use different textures, and of course, I have to use shatterproof ornaments. With three toddlers, shatterproof is a must. <laughs> that way, if it falls, it will typically not break. I have had shatterproof ornaments that have broken. They just don't shatter. I guess that's why they're shatterproof and why they're not called breakproof. <laughs> but more importantly, I don't want anything to break and injure one of my little ones. I do have some breakable ornaments on our family Disney tree, but that tree is much larger and we keep all of the breakable ornaments at the top where little fingers can't get them. But by the way, if you do want to see my Christmas decorating video for our living room, that will be on my other channel, Disney Mom Life. It'll be the only decorating video on that channel. I am posting it over there because our living room is the one room in the entire house that is entirely decked out in Disney Christmas decor. That video will be going up later this week, so definitely check it out. I already decorated it, and you guys, I I love how it turned out. I can't wait for you to see it. And that's why I get shatterproof ornaments. <laughs> Here we have Johnny getting in on the action. John works for ESPN Radio in New York, and his buddies on the morning show, Rick and Dave, are always busting his chops. And as soon as I saw him do this, I thought Dave and Rick are going to have a field day with this. All in good fun, though, of course. All right, guys, and now for the moment of truth. Hello, Let's put her in. like he's exhausted from all that decorating. <laughs> you guys, I love how this turned out. Not gonna lie, I was a little worried about this section here because this is my shelf above the sink and I spent a lot of time doing dishes over here. So I was really hoping that I would like this spot and I just love the little gingerbread train. I love how Chip and Dale are on the front. I did not notice that at first. 
I love this little countdown to Christmas here, the advent calendar, and here's the rest of the train. I do think I wanna put some more trees back there. I don't know, maybe I'll swap the white one out for a green one. I feel like two green ones should go over there and just one green one over here. I'm not sure, I haven't done our family room yet, and all of those bins have a lot of trees in them. So I made changes, you guys will have to wait and see when I do the whole house tour. Then over here, I really like this as well. I love the little Mickey heads here, the Mickey mini and the little Joy Mickey on there. I think that's so cute. And then coming over here, I like this area. I don't love it. If you guys have any feedback, I would love to hear it. I don't think I'm gonna keep this tree there. And by the way, I have the like under counter lights. Like you guys can maybe see them. I don't know, they're, they're under there. And they're giving these black lines. They never did that before. I don't know why. They're doing that. So if you guys are content creators or just happen to know why that is, please let me know in the comments down below because this has never happened to me. And it's like, why are there black lines moving up and down? It's so weird. But anyway, I digress. So I would like to frame this photo here. And then I feel like I wanna add something else to that. And I also, I don't know, are these mugs gonna stay there because my plan is to do the hot cocoa bar in the dining room this year. So I don't know if I'm going to be pulling some of these items or not. I mean, I guess TBD. All right guys, so I just turned the light off and there's no black lines. It is so strange. So I'm really loving how everything came out. I had my under counter lights on, but look what happens guys when I turn them on. I get these weird like black lines. Like do you see that black line moving up? I have no idea why that's happening. If you guys have any idea why that might happen, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't ever remember that happening before, but for some reason it's happening now. So this, when I did my 4th of July decorate with me, I noticed that for the first time. So just, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you know what that's about. But anyway, I'm gonna turn that light off so that I don't get those weird funky lines there. But this stuff used to be in that corner and I decided to swap it out just to make it a little bit different so you guys are not seeing the exact same thing <laughs> every time. But you know, also just to change it up a little bit for myself. So I have the little Mickey house over here. So, so cute. We got Pooh Bear and Dumbo, Tigger. Here is Piglet and Eeyore. And we've got Mickey and Minnie peeking out of the house. Pluto peeking out of the house. Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Huey, Dewey, and Louie peeking out of the house. We've got Lady and Trance down here, Bambi and Thumper. Yeah, I just love this. You guys know we love Disney. So we have the house here. And then up here, this spot, I think I could put the light on for this for some reason. I think it doesn't do it over here. But I love this spot so much. I really love the little gingerbread train. I think it is so cute, especially since I have a gingerbread themed tree in my dining room. So I just like that that theme sort of carries over a little bit. I love my little advent calendar here, even though I can't use it for quite some time. I mean, I have an advent calendar here and then I also have one over there and I can't use any of them like in the real way for quite some time. But what do you guys think? I have one tree here and one tree here. I'm thinking maybe I swap that one out for a green tree or like two green trees, like that one, the sweater tree. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If I have them, I have to go check my stash in our family room decor bin because I sort of organize the decor by bins. And then I love this Mickey wreath up here. Now the great thing is it can just easily pop on and off. So if I need to go into that cabinet, it's not like it's a big deal. It just comes right off so easily. Then over here, I've got my little Santa soap and my dry mat over here that I love. Oh, I also have one of my little dish towels here and I had them over here, you guys know. I love decorating with Disney and Dachshunds, so I have my little Dachshunds here. And then I love my little spoon rest. We've got my Koa and Kind candle. And then I am happy I put these up here last year. Last year they were by my hot cocoa bar, which was over there last year, but I decided to put them on top of the stove or the oven because I needed something up here. Like there needed to be something up here to complete the look. And then over here, this is where, oh, I gotta turn the light off, hang on. Okay, the light is off now. So I am planning to do a hot cocoa bar in my dining room, so I'm not sure if these mugs are going to stay. I do have another Mickey Mouse mug like this, so I don't know, I have to see what I have. I haven't gone through my dining room bins yet, so that remains to be seen. I do want to frame this photo here, so I don't know if it will still fit over here. And also, this guy is kind of blocking the outlet. It's not touching the outlet, like it's a few inches away from it, but it is blocking it. We don't really use these outlets over here that much, but I don't know. So when I do the whole house 
tour, you might see some things change over here. Or I'm just, I'm not loving this area. It's fine. You know, it's got all my Disney stuff over here, but not loving it. Then over here, I always like this area. I love my window clings. I love my Merry Christmas garland. And then of course, I have over here my other advent calendar that I showed you before that I love with my little gingerbread Mickey. He's so cute. And then our Thomas Kincaid. We rotate our Thomas Kincaids throughout the year, depending on the season or holiday. So I'm not loving this either, you guys. I don't know. I love some spots. Like I love this spot. I love this spot. I love this spot, but I don't love this corner and I don't love this right here. I do like the Believe candle holder with the little pine. I don't know. Maybe should I get picks instead? What do you guys think? I was trying to use things that I already had but I don't know, maybe I'll get some pics at Hobby Lobby. Let me know what you guys think. And then it just, I don't know, what do I need over here? What are some things I can use? Like I said, I really was trying to just use things I already had. I was trying not to get too many new things. And my thought is, you know, last year, the at-home store and Big Lots had a lot of great stuff after Christmas. So I don't know, do I just hold out for the Christmas sales? Maybe I'll try to find something at Hobby Lobby there soon. But let me know what you guys think of this area in that corner over there. Would love to have your feedback. And, then and now for my favorite part, when we make a fun holiday treat and you're gonna wanna grab your brownie mix for this one. So for this fun treat, you need some brownie mix, some red M&Ms, some candy eyes, some pretzels, and some icing. So the first thing you're gonna do is cook your brownies according to the package instructions. Do that and then I'll meet you right back here. So we're gonna take our icing. I had red on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use, but use whatever color you like. Again, this is just what I had on hand. We're gonna use the icing to stick our antlers on and our eyes and nose for our little Rudolph brownies. You guys, they're gonna be so cute. So we'll put the eyes on next, and then we'll finish by putting on his nose. And there you go. You've got a little Rudolph brownie, perfect for any Christmas movie night or just fun festive holiday treat. I love sharing super simple holiday ideas with you guys. If I could do it, anybody could do it. I don't like things to be complicated. I like things to be fun, festive, cute, and super easy, especially if you have little ones, like my kids can do this with me. I was doing with them off camera. My kids are making their very own Rudolphs and it's just so easy, like anybody can do it. And that's, you know, the point here. I like to keep things easy. I like to keep things fun. So I hope you enjoyed making these Rudolphs. And again, let me know in the comments down below if you'll be doing it too. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. And if you're new and you like the content, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. We're gonna have a lot of fun around here this Christmas season, this holiday season, and I'd love to have you. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a little red circle emoji in honor of Rudolph's nose. And with that, I will see you guys in my next one. Merry Christmas, bye. Silent.